Okay, so here's the deal. You guys know all the problems I've had with this 48 GHS deck, okay? I replaced both the two outer gearboxes and I was getting horrendous sound. And I took that one off and I looked inside. I showed you guys how there were metal shavings in there, how the gears were all loose, how that was all screwed up. Sent it back to the guy. He sent me another one. I put about 10 hours on it. It was fine. Then it started getting loud again and all the noise coming from that gearbox. And I've just had it. So what I learned in all my research and info that a lot of you guys have told me was if I go to the cast iron boxes, the heavy duty boxes, it reduces that sound way down. Okay. So besides reducing that sound way down, they're also more heavy duty. Obviously they're cast iron boxes instead of these aluminum ones. Well, while I was at GIE, I met up with this guy and I saw this booth and I saw some of the cast iron boxes sitting on display at this booth. So I thought, that's got to be the ones that everybody's talking about. So I stopped and I talked to this guy and I told him the whole story. I played him the video of what this deck sounded like. I showed him everything. Well, come to find out, this guy used to work for Peerless years ago for a long time. And he's known since day one that the aluminum boxes are junk and they make noise you can't get the tolerances tight enough to reduce the sound and, and the vibration the rotation in there and they're just garbage so what he did at some point was went off and started his own company and he makes the heavy duty cast iron boxes that are much tighter tolerances the gears are in there better tighter um they reduce the sound they're stronger everything all the way around and his, the name of his company is called pro gear so I was talking to him, went through everything with him, and, and I know for like the three gearboxes, I think it was like 1200 bucks, something like that. Um, the two outers and the center one. And so I got his information. The main point is I needed these heavier duty gearboxes. So um, I talked to him, found out how I can order them, where I can get them from, and he gave me all the information that I need. And here they are right here in this box that you probably can't see but they're right here it is the left box the right box and the center box all cast iron all the heavy duty ones the upgraded version and i told him he needs to get with walker and convince them that they need to make these standard on every deck and do away with those aluminum boxes no matter what the deck is this should be standard equipment on all their decks so I got these in now i'm super excited i've been running the right every day bagging and it does a phenomenal job bagging with the accelerator on there but i just have to empty it way too many times i need this walker so i'm glad these are in and now that i'm done for today i am going to rip this thing apart again and i'm rebuilding these with the heavy duty cast boxes <music> not to get that off i had to get i had to take out the shear bolt okay and then i had to take out the roll pin which is right here because there's a roll pin that goes down through there um the uh shear bolt goes through there the roll pin goes through there and there's a little groove in here so the roll pin sets in that groove it goes through the drive shaft and goes in that groove and that locks it in so it can't come off even if the shear bolt breaks but 
that wasn't coming off too easy at all it was i mean there's so much grease in here i can't believe that thing would have been on there that tough like that but it was it took i had to keep going around it with this little mini hammer and tapping it all the way around and then prying a little more and then tapping it and then prying all the way around So that gearbox is off, fluid's draining out. This fluid in here was from uh it was from the aerator. So that's not from this, but you can see that there and you can see metal shavings and I don't know if you can see it's like sparkly, but it's draining fluid out of there now. That's the gearbox that's off there. Now he sent me a picture of this. That's the part numbers of all the gearboxes he sent me and um, he sent this diagram to me so I know which one goes where and which box goes on which side So what I'm gonna do now is according to his parts diagram um, I'm just gonna follow that and before I go tearing this tube off of the center box What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the correct gearbox on this one here and tighten it back up and then I will pull this off of here and attach this side to the center T box. And then I'll pull that side off and attach that to the other side of the center T box. And then I will pull this side off and put the last one on there. That way I'm going in order, right down the line, instead of ripping it all apart, having pieces everywhere, and then trying to reassemble it. So I already took pictures of it just in case I screw something up so I know the order goes in. Sometimes I forget these tabs face up. I don't know why, but they just do. So I like to keep it the same. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go right down the line and uh, reassemble it as I take it apart. taken off before and half the gasket is missing but I have spares so it's a good thing I have those so I'm gonna carve the rest of this gasket off here and put a new one on that way there's there will be no problems with leaks and I won't have to worry about it down the road but I think I might have run into another snag because that center tee box where it attaches to the drive shaft is different than how mine attaches. There is no hole for a shear pin. There is no hole for the uh, for the other pin, the roll pin that was in there. There's no hole for any of that. And I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. <music> Show you what I did. This is a mess. I'm a mess. These gearboxes, like I mentioned, that center shaft for the drive shaft would not hook up because see that it has a keyway, and mine has a shear bolt that runs through and a cotter or uh, and a roll pin that goes in there. They're both right there. There's the shear bolt, there's the roll pin. 
and they both have to go through to hold that drive shaft onto that shaft that comes out of the T-box. So, what I've always been told is you cannot intermix cast iron boxes with aluminum boxes. So I contacted the guy at Pro Gear and I asked him, he goes, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I thought for sure I had the right ones. Um, when I gave you the part numbers, he said, I forgot that the old ones still have the shear pin. I guess the new ones do not. So anyway, he said, just take the gears out of the new cast iron box, take the gears out of the aluminum box, and then rebuild the aluminum box with the heavy duty gears out of the cast iron box. So I'd have rather had all three cast iron boxes, but at this point, I just want this thing to work. I want it to work correctly. I want it to be quiet. So he said, that's fine. You can do that. It's no problem. So I took the bearings, the gears, everything out of this box, except for that one bearing right down in there. Um, the bearings in this box were fine. This whole box was probably fine. The outer ones are the ones I had the issue with, especially uh, if it was flipped around, especially this one. So now... I have the cast iron heavy duty boxes on each end. The center T box, even though it's still aluminum, has the heavy duty cast iron gears and bearings in it. So now I'm gonna get it cleaned up and get it put back on this deck. Well, so far it seems to be much better. Um, I don't know. We will uh, we'll see what happens uh, over time. I'm gonna run it for the next few days and we'll see how it goes. Uh, somebody told me to run this stuff bentonite grease for peerless um transmissions and it's a lot thicker and i did put that in there at first and then i took it back out because it they were really quiet but it was super thick that i don't think it traveled all the way through the tubes to get to that center box so i cleaned as much of it out of there as i could and put the regular gear oil in there that it that all these gear boxes call for is i'm going to actually um, eventually get a different drive shaft the newer style and I'm gonna switch those gears back to this cast iron box so that I can um, so that I'll have all three cast iron boxes it really didn't take but a couple minutes to pull the gears out of this cast iron box and put them in that aluminum one uh, to switch it over so that I can still run the same drive shaft that I have um, it, it's pretty easy they're really super simple to rebuild and I showed you in a past video how to rebuild these gear boxes um, there's not much to them at all. They're really easy, but, um, hopefully this will be the way to go. And if it is, I highly recommend, or I will highly recommend that you guys go with pro gear. Um, these cast iron boxes, just from everything I'm hearing from everyone, they hold up so much better. Um, they're quieter, they're stronger. They're just better all the way around. So, um, I'm glad that I got them and we'll see what happens from here. Okay. So I've bagged four yards now with the walker to see how it's going to do those gearboxes are a hundred times quieter without a doubt i do have a little tink noise underneath there and i think that has something to do with the blades the cones and where i chipped a part of the underside of the deck in the past uh, i showed you guys in a previous video it's definitely nothing to do with those gearboxes they are without a doubt quieter what i did was when i was at home i engaged it and it was so quiet just that nice low hum that most walkers have and then I put the blades on, and then I start hearing that tink noise. So I definitely think it's something to do with the blades. But I'll give you a little view. This is the yard I just vacked up. Uh, went over it one time. There are some leaves like along the edge there because it's a little bit breezy. A little gust of the gods came along and started blowing leaves down while I was bagging them. And I gotta blow this driveway off still, but this here is the pile I emptied the hopper twice it uh it is definitely bagging better now um that is uh that's packed in there pretty good that's the one thing I love about the walker how it packs leaves in like a bale of hay but it definitely is bagging better now and it has nothing to do with the gearboxes what I found out when I took that deck off was there's a couple bolts that hold the uh, plastic chute that comes off the back of the deck up in there's a couple of bolts that hold it to the deck and one of them was missing so that chute was like moving all around there so I put a new bolt in it yesterday and definitely making a huge difference so I'm very happy with these gearboxes and uh, I'm glad I finally went to them um, 
if I ever start getting any noise or any play or anything or I damage one on either of the other 256 decks I'm not even going to screw around I'm just right off the bat I'm going to order another set of these cast iron ones and that's going to be the way I go I'm not playing around with these other aluminum ones anymore